Welcome back to Stop Market Mindset with Slick the Trader. Please like and subscribe. Let's get into this recap. Thank you. Today we're going to review a swing trade I took on shop. So as you can see, I entered here off of this falling wedge. A little engulfing candle up. Basically call this a three candle up. Enter right here. Okay. Pushed out. It was close to the end of the day. I got after I was off. By the time the market closed, I was up about 70%. Next morning, market open. Big volume. Pushed up. I personally, I sold here on this rejection. As you can see, we went to a hammer candle and pushed up to highs of 45. But I had the... Um, $45 calls expiring 310, which is a weekly. Um, pretty smooth trade. And then as you can see, we consolidated. You know, hit a supply zone, sold off for the rest of the day. I mean, as you know, like this particular day, spy sold off crazy. But yeah, this is a swing I took on my Weibo account. Got 304% when I sold. They were like 20 some dollar contracts. Ended up going like 80 or something dollars. Uh, $23 contracts. Yeah, $23 contracts. Eight, sold at 83. I definitely got a profit cut for 304%, but it's a pretty smooth trade. I seen basically consolidation in this zone, as you can see. Basically, for days we stayed in this range. The whole day we just stayed in this range. A couple days actually, since seventh is right here. When I seen we got a little push up, retest down, I entered. The candles we was getting in March, as you can see, we got a big green engulfing candle right there. That's why I seen strong wick. Go to the hour chart. As you can see, we were getting the same thing. That's basically what I've seen. I've seen this flag forming on the hour chart, trading in this range. As you can see, we broke out. We took entry. There you go. So I just sold here. But yeah, basically, I've seen this breakout. And I've seen it's just testing this zone, holding, holding. Right there in this, this area. And I said, man, I'm going to swing this. And once, once I closed up about 70%, I wasn't really afraid to swing it because I figured, you know, if it, if it sells off and, you know, in the morning after hours, being up that much, I probably could at least come out breaking even with a very small loss. So that basically was my plan. But at the end of the day, I just had a feeling we were going to push to uh, to highs. And the reason for that is, So I seen, I seen this area here. I knew we had 47. I knew that was a resistance zone. I knew this was one. And you know, I kind of just seen this inverse head and shoulders building. Once I seen that, I seen this consolidation right here. I knew it was some volume. And we get a push up. And that's exactly what we got to push up to right here. Let's see if I can move this. You can see, and yeah, that's exactly what we got to. I'll draw this line right here. And these are basic setups that I look for a lot. You know, I look at the hour chart and look at the daily. And I look for those, you know, falling, breaking out of falling wedges, kind of 
of building that. I call it the field, NFL field goal shape. When I start to see that, I be like, okay, we can we can push up. Those are the setups I really go for, not just for swinging, but also for um, just trading as a whole. Um, also seen, I believe it was the EMAs. I know we have them on. See if I can turn them on real quick. Add the EMAs on here. These the nine and twenty. Add the nine and the twenty on here. So at the time, I was ready to take the trade. As you can see, you see those EMAs crossing right there. I'm holding. Let me see what's on the five minute chart. Let me go back here. See so as you can see. Right there holding that EMA. You can see it dip down. It's crossing over. Well, it crossed, but then it held, pushed down. I seen it hold that. I was like, oh, this is the perfect, perfect entry. So that's what also made me uh take this trade. Let me get the daily. Yeah, so you know, people ask like, what what is a setup? You know, what's what's a perfect setup? What does a setup look like? You know, these are your setups. You know what I mean? Stuff like this. Like when you see that, you gotta you gotta take those trades. You gotta hit the hammer on them. You know what I mean? You gotta that's your confirmation. You know, I really don't use EMAs like that, but you know, when they're there and I use them and I see the volumes there everything coming in that is what made me take those trades so i hope this gives you an idea like what to look for um in the market to be able to take trades so like i said everybody will tell you to you know take a plus setup take a plus setup but they won't really tell you what's a plus setup so slick the trader here to tell you that that was an a plus setup perfect for a swing you know you take a swing later in the day you know close to the market close see how that daily candle forms you know when you get something like this you know, you go ahead, you know, by the time market close, you know, you up that type of percentage, you pretty up much in a safe zone or where it's though, you know, if it sells off, you may take a, come down to break even, or you might even end up, you know, one or 2%, but you know, you'll be able to get out. Or maybe, you know, you might take a small loss of, you know, one, 2%, but you got a better chance when you're up that much. So that was the perfect, most people are like, oh, I would have took profit at 70%. Yeah, but I had conviction. So. I mean, when it comes to swing trading, those are the things you want to look for when you come to day trading. You know, in the lower time frames, which always only use your higher time frames to, you know, get that confirmation. But, yeah, just look for that. Look for that pattern. I mean, that's, that's just what I use. I use that. I use that and say, okay. And, I mean, we really, I mean, we sold off just because of what the market is going on. But we still actually have this gap, you know, all the way up to, you know, 52. But, you know. We'll see. We'll revisit that. I'm going to set some alerts, keep my eye on it, and uh, go from there. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.